Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com, and this video is gonna give you the two scenarios that using Facebook advertising in your business makes sense. Now, as a practitioner on the platform for over five years, having spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of my own money on Facebook ads, I've got a pretty deep understanding of the platform, and I'm getting a lot of comments that clearly illustrate most people don't get it, and most people don't understand how Facebook fits in, Facebook advertising, right, paid Facebook advertising, fits into the internet business model. This video is going to clear it up with an analogy and I'll explain the two different reasons or kind of scenarios when running Facebook ads makes perfect sense. Now, the challenge I'm trying to overcome is that many people seem to be running one or two ads and they're like, hey, Miles, I ran an ad. I didn't get any sales. What's up? And my best analogy to clear this up, because Facebook advertising is absolutely not a magic solution. No matter what the creators of courses that teach you how to do Facebook advertising will tell you, it is not a magic solution. It is a tool to drive traffic. If the copy on your landing page sucks, you will not convert people. If the copy on your sales page sucks, you will not convert people. If your offer stinks or nobody wants the t-shirt that you're kind of creating through a print on demand business, model, you're just not going to make any sales regardless of how much Facebook traffic you drive. There's a way to use Facebook that makes sense, but expecting Facebook ads to deliver customers is totally a false belief because what Facebook ads does is it delivers traffic to your website and it's up to you to test and figure out and learn and know what conversion mechanisms will turn that traffic either into a lead or into a customer. And that's the part that most people are missing. And here's how how Facebook advertising fits well into every single internet business model. Number one is testing. When you are running a minimum viable funnel, when you are testing out a new idea, it's a great way to go throw some traffic quickly at a landing page, at a sales page, or even testing the words in the ad itself, right? Do you get clicks and engagement on the ad is a test. So let's say you've been doing your research and you come up with a new hypothesis that vegan dog food owners are scared of their pets getting cancer. And you want to test a new headline or a landing page that that is prevent cancer in your dog with these vegan pet food tricks. And you want to test that idea. And the last squeeze page you had converted at 15%. You run some traffic from Facebook of pet owners or dog owners to the squeeze page and you see 40% of people opt in for that report. You have just proven through data that this new idea you tested is actually converting better than the old idea that you had. Great part about testing is you can do it with 20, 30, $40. Usually within one to $200, I'm able to run enough traffic to have very, very clear data on whether an idea that I have that's rooted out of research, by the way, these aren't ideas I'm grasping out of thin air. I'm testing ideas I get from research to see if the audience actually responds or not. So that's the first way you use it. The second way to use it, the analogy I have is that Facebook advertising is like fuel. It's like petrol or gasoline, whatever you call it, right? And the only way gasoline works is if you have a fire already going or some sort of a spark there, right? If you pour fire, if you pour, excuse me, gasoline onto a pile of sticks, and there's no fire, nothing's gonna happen. You will have a smelly pile of sticks because there was no fire going beforehand. So you need to ignite some sort of fire or ignite a spark first, and then when you pour the fuel on it or you pour Facebook ads on something that's already ignited, that's when you get the kind of combustion that you're looking for. And the analogy here, I hope that was clear, is about scaling, right? The reason I was able to step into Facebook ads and relatively quickly get my feet underneath me and get leads and cash flow coming in positively from Facebook ads is because I spent three years figuring out what my audience wanted. I spent three years testing opt-in offers before ever running my first Facebook ad. And most people are stepping up, they're running Facebook ads and they expect it to work out of the gate. And the trick is you need to make sure you have an offer that converts. You need to have a conversion mechanism in place first before really scaling up your Facebook ads, right? The only people I know who are able to spend hundreds 
thousands and more dollars per day in Facebook ads are people who absolutely know beyond a shadow of a doubt what their conversion rates are, what their cost per new customer is, and what their lifetime value of that customer is. How do they know this? Because they've been running their business for years. They've been measuring the results of every single effort. They've been testing different things, and they know that if they put $3,000 in today, they're going to get $3,500 out. They're net positive $500, and they just got a bunch of new leads and a bunch of new customers. That's how people scale. They get the fire going first, and the fire is the conversion mechanism. They get that conversion mechanism working first, and then they scale up the amount of traffic they're running to their conversion mechanism that already converts, and that is how they're growing and scaling their business through Facebook ads. So step one is use Facebook advertising to test your landing pages, to test your sales pages, to essentially test your minimum viable funnel and to test your ideas, right? Does this offer work for my audience? Well, $50 of Facebook ads or $100 of Facebook ads over the course of a few days or a week is a great way to test that. So maybe you test a landing page before you go build out an entire product. You don't want to necessarily spend a month building out a product that you have no data whether your audience wants to purchase that product or not. This is a huge mistake that so many people are making. They go audience, they go product first. They're out there, they build a product, they're like, great, now I got this product, cool, I'll just run some Facebook ads and people will buy my product. Not necessarily, unless they feel that your offer is really truly going to help them achieve their goals, avoid their biggest fears, avoid their challenges and solve their problems, they're not going to take action. It doesn't matter how good of an ad you run. It doesn't matter how clear or perfect of an audience you target. If the messaging on your landing page or the messaging on your sales page sucks, nothing's going to happen. And this is why I'm such a proponent of learning and studying copywriting and really focusing in and measuring all of the statistics, all of the data, knowing your key performance indicators, because you need to know whether your money that's going into Facebook is actually coming back to you or not, right? You need to know if you're getting a return on that investment, if you're breaking even, and more importantly, you need to know what offers convert with your audience. You need to know what opt-ins, what headlines actually trigger your audience to take action because those are the kinds of clues that will lead you down the path of success. So if you're running Facebook ads and you're like, man, I've tried and it's not working for me, know that you need to do more testing. That's the big takeaway. That's a big aha is to not look at Facebook advertising as the solution, but look at it as a simple tool to increase the number of targeted visitors you can drive to a specific page on your website in a specific amount of time. That's what it's perfect for. So let it be that your website, your page, your copy still needs to do the heavy lifting. You need to do the work of converting that traffic into a lead, that traffic into a subscriber, or even maybe you're just helping that traffic become a very happy reader of the content that you've created. But either way, it's up to you. You need to own that conversion. And if your Facebook ads aren't working, that's because you haven't put enough time, energy, focus, and research and effort towards the conversion mechanism that you're sending people to. I would say 80 to 90% of the time when people come at me in the comments with my, my ads aren't working, what's going on? It has nothing to do with the ad. Running the ad is easy creating an offer that is highly desired by a specific audience that's going to get them to take action, whether that's opting in and subscribing with our email list or purchasing or buying, that's the most difficult part of building an internet business not the Facebook ads, the conversion mechanism. So use Facebook ads to test your conversion mechanisms, but don't think going all in on Facebook ads right now, just because Gary V said to go all in on Facebook ads right now is actually going to grow your business. It could potentially hinder you, but use it wisely, right? Use Facebook ads to test. And when you're showing that you're getting a 30 or a 40% opt-in rate, you're converting two, three, four, 5% of traffic to customers with your shirt designs or whatever it is that you're targeting. At that point, you should have data that says, wow, I spend 50 cents on a click and I earn 62 cents for every click. Boom, you now have an arbitrage. You can now go buy as much traffic as you can continuing to monitor your numbers as you grow. I hope this has been helpful. I really needed a video in my channel to point people to because I'm getting so many of these comments and I still have answered over 10,000 comments at this point on the channel. And I'm just getting this over and over like, hey, my Facebook ads aren't working, my Facebook ads aren't working. And the kind of the joke or the little behind the scenes thing is that the Facebook ads are doing fine. They're driving traffic. Your mechanism on your website isn't converting people. The good news is you can study copywriting, you can run tests, you can test very efficiently for, for very 
small amounts of money to identify the headlines, the opt-ins, the products, the offers that do convert. And when you find out what your audience wants and what they take action on, right? What they convert, what actually gets them to convert. When you find what that is, the rest of life gets easy. Traffic is the easy part. Right? Once you have an offer that convert, you can run Pinterest traffic, you can run Instagram traffic, you can run influencer traffic, you can run Facebook traffic, you can run Google traffic, SEO traffic, video traffic. That is easy once you have an offer that converts. But until you have that, none of the traffic in the world is gonna be your solution. The traffic isn't the savior. You are your savior, creating an offer that converts, a headline that converts, an opt-in page that converts. You can do this. I've been through the process. I started with zero skills in internet marketing, zero skills in copywriting. I've learned all of this the hard way and I've documented as much as I can to help you, but this was a mindset mindset and a perspective shift for you to make you realize and help you realize that focusing in on your conversion mechanism is key. Put together your minimum viable funnels, right? Make sure you're testing these with a little bit of traffic, some paid traffic. When the numbers say to run more ads, that's when you run more ads. The numbers are telling you, hey, nobody off, nobody opted in, nobody bought my stuff. Go back to the drawing board because it's your offer that's missing the boat, not the traffic. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, give me a thumbs up here. I do appreciate it. Feel free to share this, embed this video if you'd like. I do appreciate all the reach that you help me get. I'm not trying to sell anything here. I'm literally just trying to be as helpful as possible as I can, and that's my goal. So if you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you can get my next video as it comes out. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Until then, be well.